Hey there, friends on YouTube. It's the JTL. I'm back again, and today I'm going to take you on a walk through this Astro Command Center software that comes with the Astro A50 wireless. Some people have asked me on the channel if I would give a little demonstration, so I'm going to go ahead and do that and let you guys know uh, some of the basics about how to use it, maybe a little bit of advanced stuff. I'm going to show you how to create your own um, your own preset and uh, audio preset and all that. So let's just get right into it. Now, first, we'll take a little walk around on the software just to get a look at whatever what uh, what's in there and what everything is. So up here, you see you got your battery level for your headset, and then over here we've got some settings. So check for updates automatically. I've gotten a couple of firmware updates already since I had the I had the headset. So load profile, save profile, that kind of thing. Generate TPS reports. I think that might be a joke because I don't think it does anything. If you've ever watched the movie Office Space, then you'll be familiar with a running joke in that movie about TPS reports. Anyway, so down here, it tells you your driver version uh, for the base station and for the headset, for the firmware. Uh, then you've got this first setting here, equalizer presets. And as you can see, there are several that are available. And I've got some that I've done already, JTL preset one, uh, Studio Plus, those are two that I've done. Then we've got one for the Astro Mod Kit, which is a separate $40 purchase that you have to make in order to uh, in order to really have this one be useful in any way. Right now, I'm on the Astro preset, so it doesn't show you anything orange. When I click over to Studio Plus, this is one that I made. It will show you what's different compared to what's already loaded. But if I don't want to do that, then I can click Revert, and I'm right back to Astro. So you've got Pro, uh, I think this is Footsteps mode, basically, and then Studio, which is, click on it, more of a flat in the bass and then raised in the highs and lows. We'll get into what all this stuff is here in a second, but let's stay here with the presets. Now, one thing you have to know when you're looking at this is that if you want to load, I'm going to revert back to the state, you have to load everything into the headset or onto the base station, I guess, probably. So the way that you do that is you have a three-way selector back here on the back of the headset. And you can see when I click it, it moves between headsets. So let's say I want to load a new preset into the JTL preset one. And let's say that I want it to be this Astro Studio preset. So here's what I can do. I select that, and since I have the three-way selector on the back of my headset at this middle position, I can hit save. Oh wait, no, excuse me. I just hit sync to device. And then, and so now it's all grayed out again. Now let's go to, let's say we wanna go to throw JTL preset one. Right, come on, click JTL preset one, but we wanna change this. Okay, here's how you'd make your own preset, which is maybe why a lot of people are watching this. Okay, so go up. I want to, I want to, actually, I want to drop the base on this. I want to raise this base up to there. And you know what? In, instead of going by what's already set here, you know, 100 hertz, 406, 7, 783, etc., I want to go down here to advanced settings. And the first time you click this, it will say, hey, be careful, you're going to mess things up if you don't know what you're doing. Well, hopefully after this, you know what you're doing. So here you've got all these different frequencies. Now, if you know anything about EQ and frequencies, then you're probably going to be in pretty good shape. But let's say I want this high frequency to be 10,000 hertz. I'll click that in there. And let's say instead of 3901, I want this to be, let's say, 2500. And Instead of this being 783, let's say I want it to be, I'll uh, just pick 650, and let's say I want the low cut to be, and I, I want this to be 500. I'll put that in there, and I want this to be 80. Okay, now these are pretty standard EQ settings for recording and that kind of thing. Um, but you don't need to know anything like that. Some of you might not ever go this deeply into this, but this is how you do it. So now I click that. 
In the JTL1, you see the, the frequencies are here, the ones that I changed it to. And then this up here tells you how much you have cut, as in going down, or raised, as in going up. So right here, this tells you how many dBs. So this is raised 6 dBs, and that seems like a lot to me, so I'm going to go down. My audio training has always told me not to go above or below by more than 3. Yeah, those are rules that can be broken, but I try and stay around that range. So now I want to save this. So I'm going to go to save, and I've got JTL preset 1. I'm going to make this one JTL preset 2. I'm going to save it. Now, if I want to put this on the headset, I sync to device. And, and now we're there. So I've got that synced to the headset. So right now I have studio. Yeah, you can't select any of these until you select on the, on the headset here. So if I want to select Studio, I have to do that. And it shows you again. And if I want to select Astro, if I click on it, nothing happens. But if I toggle all the way down, then I can adjust it. So that's basically how you adjust the presets and load presets on and save presets. See, this, this right here, I think there might be some custom EQs that you can download. But basically, here, you've got all the presets that you've made. And then when you add more, they, they show up here. So that's that. Any questions at any time, go ahead and drop me a comment down below, and I'll do everything that I can to give you the right answers. Uh, if I, and if I am confusing or something's not quite right, let me know about that as well. Let's go over here to microphone. So microphone is interesting. Um, you've got a couple of different noise gates here. And noise gate is basically like when the microphone's on. That means the gate is open. So when the microphone is receiving some noise, that the gate is open. When the gate closes, nothing comes in. And each of these gates open at a different sensitivity. So that's, that's sort of audio 101 on how noise gates work. So here's the thing. When you've got streaming, it says it's ideal for a quiet studio. So if you're in a place like where I am right now, then you can click and select this streaming, sync it to device. So now you're using this streaming preset, which is has a, the lowest sensitivity. Yeah, uh, it, it will pick up more noise, basically. Night, you see here, this says that it's the least aggressive noise gate setting, which means that you can talk really quietly because you don't want to wake anyone up. And this will pick it up home this is for just the basic like every, you know wherever land environments typical home settings in the living room or whatever uh this is sort of like the me the medium level and then on tournament you've got uh the most aggressive setting because tournaments can be loud and so you want your gate to close pretty aggressively uh which means it's going to keep out the sound that's going on around your head around the area, but then when you speak, it will open and you'll and the mic will pick it up. Okay, so that's what the noise gate is. Basically, it's the sensitivity or open and close of the activity of the microphone when the microphone is active. The EQ for the mics, you got bright, airy, and warm. I'm on warm. I'll switch over to bright. I'll sync that to device. And now you can maybe hear, it's, I, I'm not clear as to how this stuff broadcasts back, but let's, let's sync airy. And okay, so we've got the airy setting going on. Um, and go back to warm. Okay, and we're back to warm. Now, I'm not sure what I'm picking up in here. I can hear slight differences, but maybe when I listen to this or when you folks listen to it, you'll be able to hear a different level. But at this point, that's basically the kind of, you know, you want a little bit more high end on your mic so it cuts through a little bit. If you want something here that's like got a little bit more air to it, it's hard to explain what they mean by air, but it's, it, it's sort of more of a uh, mid-range thing. And then warm is going to be more of a low boost. So the low end of the microphone is going to be boosted up a little bit, maybe through to the mids. So 
So this is bright, mid, and low. Here you got the level. Level is pretty self-explanatory. You know, you can bring it down or bring it back up. And that controls the level of the mic. So I'm just going to get it back down here. You can see there's a little notch here that shows you zero or default. So here we have side tone as well, and side tone is a big thing for me. I always like to hear my own voice back into the headset so that I can judge how loud I am or whether I'm yelling or not, um, and how it mixes in with the voices of the other folks in the in party chat or how it mixes in with the sounds of the game, uh, which is important in streaming. It's also important in um, just being a good chat member. Uh, some folks don't realize when their mics are way too loud or way too soft. So this side tone kind of helps with that. So let's sort of, this is getting long, so let's quickly walk through a few other things here. We've got just basically, this is your mix of what's coming through the stream port, which I'm going to assume is the optical out. Because that's the way I have mine set up. I have the optical out set up to come out of my base station and into the sound card that I have. I have a I have a Creative Sound Blaster Z something or other, and I go into the optical in on that, and that's how all my sound from game, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, gets into the PC you now, and then comes out the stream. Now, the mic that I use on my stream, since I, I'm usually playing on PS4, the mic that I'm using on my stream is usually the Blue Yeti mic, which is just sitting right up here, and that's what the Elgato Game Capture software picks up. Now, there is an aux port where you can plug in, you know, your phone or whatever take, has a 3.5 millimeter jack, and you could plug that in and also feed that into the base station and mix it in here. So this is basically kind of your mixing board, uh, where you can just get all the different kinds of stuff going on. You can also control some of that stuff on the headset here. You've got voice and game rocker, uh, and of course you've got your volume and all that kind of other stuff. Now let's go to settings. Uh, so the default balance here. You know, you've got you've got the middle basically. Actually, no, this is this is the middle. So you can just go voice chat and game level with this, or you can do it on the headset. Either one. So, you know, so I'm doing it on the headset right now, and you can see it moving around. So that's that. Alert volume. I think that's the alert they give you when you're running out of battery. Base station brightness just controls the LEDs that are on the base station. So none of this you should really have to fool with. This you can control on the headset itself. So that's basically it. Uh, again, the equalizer presets, this is where some of you might be uh, spending your most time loading presets in or and making your own presets. Microphone, there's some really important controls here. Uh, and you can really dial in your sound, the stream port, this is mostly for what's coming out and mixing. But like I say, this is the place where most of you will probably spend most of your time. Uh, let me know if you have any questions down in the comments. Uh, let me know if I missed anything or you don't understand anything. I'm happy to answer the questions. Uh, this is a nice piece of software that Astro provides with the A50s. I'm not sure if they provide it with the A40s, but I know the A40 has something similar. Uh, so anyway, thanks for watching. I hope this helped you out some. And until the next time, this is the JTL, and I am out.